When a student immerses himself or herself into a new culture, they go through a process called acculturation. Sam and Barry 2010 describes acculturation as the process of cultural and psychological change that results following meeting between cultures. So in this video, I'm going to explain one's psychological changes that occur during the acculturation process, plus some commonly practiced strategies to help facilitate one's adjustment during the acculturation process. The acculturation process is divided into four stages, the honeymoon stage, culture shock, the adjustment stage, and recovery. In the honeymoon or the excitement stage, People are ecstatic about the new surroundings, focusing on the positive aspects of the environment. In many cases, for international students, they experience this stage when they first arrive in their study abroad countries. Then the aggressive stage or culture shock sets in when they realize the differences between their native country and the new place. Noticing the differences between the two cultures makes them feel disoriented. And as for international students, we see them seeking people from the same country, complaining about the new custom, and wishing to get away from the predicament. Such psychological reactions can have substantial impact on the students' both physical and mental health. For instance, showing signs of cold, fatigue, stomach pains, or feeling depressed and anxious. And because of that, students can project their defense mechanisms, some of which include repression, regression, isolation, and rejection. Repression is withdrawing from the problem or effect by pushing it down, and regression refers to returning to one's early memory, as explained on the screen, living in the past memory and getting homesick. Isolation is isolating oneself without having any interaction with others, and rejection is refusing the new experience. And again, these coping strategies are used unconsciously to decrease their internal stress from difficult feelings or thoughts that arise from encountering the new environment. And for many of us, it is caused by losing our native culture. Some ways to overcome this stage is to be proactive and socialize with people, getting involved in activities, possibly trying out different extracurriculars, learning the language and the new customs. All of these aim to grow their understandings of the second culture. After culture shock, people realize not just the differences but notice the similarities between the two cultures and they begin to gradually accept the differences, meaning they're now in the adjustment stage, also known as the adaptation or the realization stage. Um, in this stage, they might have more empathy for other people in the second culture and might already be working towards to um, resolve issues in their new environment. And finally, what comes after is the acceptance stage or recovery. In this stage, the connection between the two cultures begin to form. People are more accepting of the new culture becoming more comfortable with the new custom and surroundings. People may even experience personal growth, such as being able to understand different ways of thoughts and feelings, um, more matured, becoming more opinionated and confident. For international students, um, they may take opportunities to participate in in and out of class activities, which in turn giving them more opportunities to use their second language in different contexts. Um, summing up what's been said, acculturation is a process that occurs as a person adapts to the second culture. Four stages of acculturation is the honeymoon, which is being excited about the new culture, and culture shock, where um, people are um, distressed because of the differences between the two cultures and adjustment where they gradually see the similarities and um, finally recovery um, where they feel as though they are in part of the community. Although the second stage culture shock may sound like an endless fight, it is important to note that it is temporary and going through the stage can actually help you grow 
and that there are many more strategies to overcome culture shock. Thank you for listening to this video and I hope this video was helpful for you to understand what it's like to adapt to a new culture.